of a toasty day and now it looks like it's yeah. cooling down at least in some spots still still pretty warm here in the city yeah but we'll get there uh, that cooler air is working its way down the willamette valley so yes it'll be a lot more comfortable tomorrow compared to today Sounds and good that cooler air is coming from here the oregon coast look at canna beach so the low clouds just zipping from north to south as they do so frequently in the summertime as the marine layer is solid at the beach and eventually came right on shore and we lost the blue sky and it was solid and there's even some drizzle down around Newport and some other places on the coast. But again, a good look at the coast this afternoon. OK, the highs today, they're just hot. We get above 95. It's hot. It was low humidity, but still hot. 96 in Portland, 98 in Trout Hill. This is, I believe, our second warmest day of the summer so far. Back on the 5th of July, we hit 98 in Portland. That was our warmest temperature so far of the year, but there were triple digits. The Dallas 101, Medford 100 got close and John Day got close in Pendleton and then 50 60s and low 70s on the Oregon coast because this is not an offshore flow pattern that would heat the coast up into the 80s or 90s. And in fact, it's the opposite. The onshore winds are beginning to kick in. Not so much in the Portland area, a little bit up to Kelso, maybe down to Scappoos, but that southwest wind at McMinnville is a good indication that we're getting some good airflow. That cooler coastal air up the Van Duzer corridor, southwest winds at Salem, strong northwest winds in Corvallis, and a south wind in Eugene. All a sign that that cooler is making its move back into the Willamette Valley, and it's reflected in our current temperatures. We are 15 degrees warmer than McMinnville right now. 77 Portland, only 62 McMinnville, and Corvallis is already down to 60. So again, the cooling has commenced, just hasn't made it to Portland just yet. We're at 77, but it will. There's this big area of cool air swirling around in the North Pacific that is basically bucking up against this big, hot, high pressure system, the heat dome down in the desert south southwest that's causing all of the brutal heat and record high temperatures there. I'll show you those in a minute, but for us, the marine layer makes a move inland. We might even have some morning clouds tomorrow. The modeling is saying, yeah, we will. A little bit broken up, but that's always a good sign. And then looks like solid cloud cover on Friday morning before it burns off in the afternoon. Kind of the classic awesome Portland summer weather that we love. And it doesn't look like it'll get very warm next week either as that area of cooler weather in the North Pacific kind of nestles, nestles right into the Northwest while the extreme heat stays in the Southwest. This is not a good position for that because it sort of blocks the monsoon moisture from taking shape and taking hold of Arizona, which is what usually cools them off this time of the year. Not cool today, 119 in Phoenix, 111 in Vegas, and it was 117 in Palm Springs. In Portland, though, we're at 77 right now and the freezing level at 14,800 feet. So the coast tomorrow, there may be some haze early, but I think it's going to clear up pretty quickly, especially down to the south and highs will be in the 60s there for the valley. Still some haze around from the flat fire smoke down in southwest Oregon, but becoming clearer as the day goes on. It's still maybe 90 in Salem, but 89 in McMinnville, cooler than it was today. Cascades will be pleasant in the 70s, a little bit of haze there. Central and eastern Oregon, that's where the heat is. 102 in Pendleton tomorrow. For the gorge, here's the west wind kicking in. Again, a strong sign of the onshore flow increasing. 80s there, and for Portland, we'll go for about 90, but I'm beginning to think that might be too high. We may top out at, say, 87 or so. We'll see how we do with that. 88, though, for Friday, Saturday, then 84 on Sunday. Then very comfortable as we head into next week, David. So, yeah, the worst of the heat and the haze, I think, is behind us already. Comfortable sounds great. Thanks so much, Matt. We'll still come.